بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب علم کوٹ آف دے یو آر ناٹ اے ڈراپ ان دا اوشن یو آر انٹائر اوشن اے ڈراپ السلام علیکم ایوری ون مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر سعدی رفیق اینڈ انڈر دا سپر یونین پروفیسر ڈاکٹر سائرا افضل ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از پاکستان ہیومن ریسورس فار ہیلتھ ایچ آر ایچ وی این ٹو Learning outlines include global strategy for HRH and its importance. Pakistan HRH includes its VN, goal, principle, strategic directions for objectives, recent updates and multiple choice questions. Learning outcome. At the end of this presentation, participants would be able to describe the importance of the WHO global strategy for HRH and also Pakistan Human Resource for Health 2018-2030. its VN, goal, principle, and strategic directions. WHO Global Strategy on Human Resource for Health, WHO member stated at the 69th World Health Assembly on May 2016. Importance of Global Strategy of Human Resources for Health. We have better evidence than ever, ever before on what works and what doesn't in health workforce development across different aspects ranging from planning, education, management, retention and incentives, linkages with social services workforce, a global strategy that addresses in an integrated way all these aspects can inspire and inform more incisive multi-sectoral actions based on new evidence and best practices at national level by planners and policy makers and at a global level by the international community. Need of global strategy. The international community is working to identify a new set of global development goals for the period of 2016 to 30. The health workforce is one of the areas under consideration as a part of a proposed health objective. The development of a global strategy on human resources for health now is therefore very timely. Because in its early stages, the process to develop the global strategy on the HRH can also influence the decisions in the post-2015 development agenda. And once these broader goals and targets have been set at a political level, the global strategy on human resource of health can provide concrete recommendations and ideas on how to achieve them at a more technical level. Pakistan Human Resources for Health Week in 2018-30 Human Resources for Health, HRH, is a pivotal for any meaningful improvement in the health status of people of Pakistan. A well-trained and motivated health workforce forms the basis for achieving universal health coverage and is a key to the attainment of the Pakistan VN 2025, the National Health VN 2025, and the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 Agenda. The workforce, health workforce in Pakistan is the backbone of health systems and economic growth. Well-functioning health systems ensure healthy society, which then became an engine for economic development. A sick society never comes out of the vicious circle of poverty. Investment in health workforce and related professions have also produced millions of decent job opportunities in the country. which continues to contribute in the economic development. However, the grave shortage of qualified health professionals and workers has restricted the progress in the health sector and is one of the main reasons for poor health outcomes and consequential poverty. In Pakistan, it is very heartening that the first ever national HRHVN has been developed in Pakistan with a great deal of dedication and through an inclusive consultative process. Federal Ministry of National Health Services, Regulation Coordinations, other ministries, professional area development, departments of the health regulatory councils, academic health instructions, private sector, civil society organization, development partners, and other stakeholders. Pakistan cannot afford an exclusive curative healthcare model. There is no other option but to strengthen a primary, preventive, and pre uh, promotive healthcare system for which the need for well-trained community-based and multi-purpose health workforce 
with support systems critical. This will also ensure provision of essential health services at the doorstep of communities. In Pakistan, the demand for a size of HRS are forecasted to grow substantially as a consequence of population growth combined with epidemiological and demographic transitions. This is the WHO Global Code of Practice and International Recruitment of Health Personal Implementation Strategy Report 2011. Pakistan Nursing Process Lama that it was an economic survey of Pakistan 2013 and 14 in which you can say that health human resources are doctors, dentists, nurses, pharmacists, lady health visitors, registered midwives, and lady health workers. It is a total number of registered human resources. And these are the international standards. And these are required for the population of 170 million. And there is a shortfall in the international standard in Pakistan is this, and this is the Percentage 52.85 percent doctors short for 92.62 percent dentists, 95.9 for nurses, 47.6 are pharmacists, lady health visitors, 19.5 registered midwife, 14.70 and lady health 43.52 short for percentage. Talking about the Pakistan Human Resources for Health Year 2018 to 2030. Develop on the basis of Workforce 2030 and National Health 2016 to 2025. VN accelerates progress towards universal health coverage, sustainable development goals, and economic growth by ensuring equitable access to a quality of health workforce within a resilient, responsive, and strengthened health system. The National Human Resources for Health VN 2018-30 reinforces the commitment of the government for creating a meaningful improvement in the health status of the people of Pakistan. The National HRH VN provides a way forward for strengthening the most important pillar of the health system and to achieve the goals set in National Health VN 2025 and Pakistan VN 2025. A unified human sources for health VN yet ensuring provisional autonomy and diversity will further strengthen health-related coordination and coherence among stakeholders. Considering increasing population and emerging health needs, it is priority to increase the number of hospitals by three folds in the public and private sector to achieve the SDGs 3 and slash universal health coverage targets. A prerequisite for this reform is addressing workforce shortage with quality production, equitable distribution, enhanced productivity, and an improved working environment. Goal to ensure a flexible, responsive, and sustainable health workforce that is of sufficient size, quality, capability, and distribution to deliver Pakistan SDGs providing universal health coverage and equitable access to health services for all. Principles. To promote the right to enjoyment of the highest attainable standards of health. Two, provide standardized, integrated, people-centered health services devoid of stigma and discrimination. Three, personal employment and professional rights of all health workers, including safe and decent working environment and freedom from all kinds of discrimination and harassment. Four, equality of access to leadership positions on merit. Five, ethical recruitment practices through selection of right persons for the right job and equitable distribution of health workers. Six, Standardized mechanism of accreditation, accountability, reward, and recognition. Strategic directions for four objectives. Objective one, governance and regulation. It includes number one, to establish a national and provisional health workforce planning and development capability. Number two, ownership of HR strategies at the highest level of political leadership. Three provisional departments of health to finalize their HRS strategic plan. 
for strengthening current regulatory councils and enactment of new councils for allied health workers. Number two objectives, investing in HRH. To align investment in HRH labor market with current and future needs. Employability of qualified HRH, task shifting, low attrition rate, enhancing job satisfaction and respect of occupational health. Third is enhancing the number of family physicians, reproductive, maternal, neonatal, child health, and non communicable diseases specialists for more than double of nurses, lady health workers, and men by 2030. Objective three is health professional education and training, which includes a new nursing and midwifery schools with enhanced quality. For medical and dental education, emphasis should be quality rather than opening of new colleges. Third is professional health training institute should be think system approach. Four is continuous professional development plans. Objective four, human resource information system. To establish single health professional institutional life registry system for professional councils and linked with the Pakistan Health Information System dashboard for consolidating all HRS data at national level. Summary of human resource for health challenges. At individual level, it is the high attrition rate, brain drain, ghost workers, and sickness of citizen. Second is at institution level, which includes the weak management, capacity of hospital administration, poor working environment and performing management system. At professional level, long-term HRH plans are missing, no HR info systems and no HRH units. And last at the national level, which includes lack of political will, HR vision is there, but in infancy, scarce resources, weak regulatory system. If we see the Pakistan human resources for health, pivotal for health, well-being, economic and social development. If you see, according to this, SDGs, health societies are in, uh, engines for economic development, health workforce essential for nutrition, health workforce essential for universal health coverage, Healthy students improve learning, great economic development, and healthy outcomes. And the women are a large part of health workforce and obtaining jobs in the collection of wash dead time, participation in wash activities by lady health workers. Health is one of the largest employment sector providing decent work. Health worker migration can lead to inequitable access to healthcare. Equitable access to healthcare services will improve basic services. An effective HR strategy rests on collaboration across different sectors, which includes the health, education, finance, labor, planning, etc., and stakeholders, which are public or private employees, professional associations, communities, and others. In this picture, you, are, you can see WHO Community Health Worker Guideline Recommendation using Life Cycle Approach. In this, you can see Starting from here, community health needs to inform new skills and enhance scope and health for all. So by achieving this slope, you know, first it's the building. The lady, the community health workers are selected, then they are trained, and then they are certified. It is the education health sector. So what comes the community health labor market? Then after the basic education, then they inform new skills, the community health were contracted and the, they are then detained. And end is the health for all. High performing health system that is accessible, accountable, affordable, and reliable. So community health work integrated in the health system. So this is the life cycle approach of community health worker guidelines to buy recommended by WHO. Moving towards the recent updates. It was an article on the global health workforce stock and distribution in 2020 and 2023, a threat to equity and universal health coverage. Abstract, objective was in 2016, global strategy on human sources for health, workforce 2030 projected a global shortage of 18 million health workers by 2030. This article provides an assessment of the health workforce stock 
stock in 2020 and presents a revised estimate of projected shortage by 2030. The methods include the latest data reported through WHO National Health Workforce accounts, was extracted to access health workforce stock for 2020 using a stock and a flow model. Projections were computed for the year 2030. The global health workforce shortage estimation was revised. And the results showed in 2020, the global workforce shortage was 65.1 million health workers. It was not equitably distributed. The projected health workforce size for 2030 is 84 million health workers. This represents an average growth of 29% from 2020 to 2030, which is faster than the population growth rate, which is 9.7%. This reassessment represents a revised global health work shortage of 15 million health workers in 2020, decreasing to 10 million health workers by 2030. Conclusion, the latest NHW data shows progress in the increasing size of health workforce globally as more jobs are and will continue to be created in the healthy and the health economics. Now it's time for multiple choice questions. The monitoring and accountability framework of the global strategy entails a regular process to assess progress on its milestones. Which of the following milestones is not necessarily to be achieved for the leadership and governance of action on human resources for health? A institution mechanism in place to coordinate an intersectoral health force workforce agenda. B have an HR unit responsibility to develop and monitor policies and plans. C, have regulatory mechanism to promote patient safety. D, made progress to establish registries to track health workforce stock. And E is all agencies would have strengthened health workforce assessment. B. Option D is not necessarily achieved by the leadership and governance, which is objective one. It is made progress to establish registries to track health workforce stock. Question number two, health has a direct correlation with poverty, illiteracy and inequalities in society. Well established best determinant of health status achievement is the level of A, Indices related to population, indices related to the hospital, per capita, income, environmental condition, or occupational hazards. B. C is the correct option, per capita income. Disaster management is a managerial function charged with creating the framework within which communities reduce vulnerability to hazards, and to cope with disaster. Which of the health areas has a vital role in building the resilience of communities and health system to respond to disaster? A, health workforce, B, health infrastructure, C, health-related equipments, D, health-related diagnostic laboratories, E, health education. Option A is correct health workforce. Question number four, health systems can only function with health workers, improving health service coverage and realizing the right to the enjoyment of high sustainable standard of health is not dependent on their A, availability, B, accessibility, C, acceptability, D, assessment, E, evaluation. D is the correct option, assessment. Health workers are the core of health systems and without health workers, there is no health care. Which of the following best describes that the investment in health workforce is one of the best buys in the public health? A, investing in midway free education can yield a 16-fold return on investment in terms of life save. Establishing a hospital will benefit the whole town. Installing modern equipment will give the best results. Road traffic signals can prevent deaths due to road traffic accidents and more expenditures on health infrastructure. The correct option is A. A, yes. 
Considering the cost-benefit analysis, what do you think that investment in which health area is one of the best buys in public health as it is a core of health system? A, health workforce, B, health infrastructure, C, health related equipment, four, did health related diagnostic laboratories, and five is health education. A. Yes, A is the correct option. The planning, design, and implementation of the policy options can be informed and supported by a number of tools and guidelines. Which of the funding is not considered as a selective product developed by WHO on human source for health? A, scaling up health professionals' education. B, increasing access to health workers in remote and rural areas. C, is monitoring and evaluation of human resources for health. D, ignoring disrupted health sectors. E, is scaling up health professionals' training. D is the correct option, ignoring disrupted health sectors. All people engage in actions whose primary intent is to enhance health and all other support workers whose main function relates to delivering preventive, promotive, and curative health services are the health workers. From the list given below, which are not the health workers, a laboratory technician, public health professional, non-profit organization workers, community health workers, or pharmacists. C? Yes, C is the correct option. A health system consists of all organizations, people, and action whose primary intent is to promote, restore, or maintain health. This includes efforts to influence determinants of health as well as more direct healthy improving activities. Health systems can only function with health workers and by improving their health services coverage by A, availability, accessibility, quality, B, quantity, availability, suitability, feasibility. C, quality, acceptability, reliability. D, availability, accessibility, acceptability, quality. E is accessibility, acceptability, and equity. A. D is the correct option. Availability, accessibility, acceptability, and quality. Question 10. Pakistan faces an acute shortage of different cadres of healthcare workers, which is bound to escalate further because of high population rate, inequitable distribution, and out migration of healthcare force. However, the number of trained health workers has remained low as compared with the estimated 2.28 need to mean a population basic need. Pakistan number is 1 into 1 trained health worker per 1,000 people, 1.2 trained health worker per 1,000 people, 1.3. 1.4 or 1.5 trained health workers per 1,000 people. D is the correct option, 1.4 trained health workers per 1,000 people. This is the key of question. This is our YouTube link. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much. Awesome.